Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to the Index Card Friday. I know so many of you are excited about this. I apologize. I did not have a video yesterday. We took down the Christmas tree. We had appointments to get our teeth cleaned, so there was, I just didn't have time to do a video. Um, I have had something else in mind, but um, yeah, it didn't happen, so maybe next week. But this is, this is our index card for this week. It's got um, three pockets. One of the pockets is out of this uh, fiber lace and then two cardstock pockets. And it's filled with tags. So we have these two tags here and this was created using my scraps so um get your scraps out because this makes a wonderful journal edition and um, also a pocket edition then we've got um, tags in here and tags here and a piece of scrap paper so let's get started and then you can see all of that as we go and let me get the ruler uh, the um, index card that I'm using is a three by five and then I have this scrap piece of paper here cardstock and so we are just going to Put this this way and glue this down so the question becomes how do we want this do we want and, and I do think I want to see some of the green so I am going to go that way and I'm going to use this piece of paper towel and I need a glue stick there we go. So we are going to glue this down. Hopefully everybody is going to have a fantastic weekend. I am just glad I was able to get the index card done. Because so I know it is a favorite of many. And that makes me happy. Oh, I really do need to get a book out. So, get this down. Did I do it this time? I think I may have. Get the glue off my fingers. I won't know for sure until I turn it over. I see the tiniest little hair of an index card right there. Let's see. Well, it's still a little off. It, it's amazing. No matter how careful I am when I measure this to cut it three by five, I always, always seem to be just the littlest bit off. I mean, it is okay, but still. It would be nice someday not to have that issue. So then once you have your card stock of choice, we are going to put two pockets. I've got this pocket here is going to be our first one. And it's going to be, um, it's going to allow, it's going to allow for long tags. So this one, because technically you could cut it off, but I wanted to have larger tags be able to have larger tags. So this is a three by three and a half. And then I took a little divot out of the top. And then of course, you need the full experience. So we are going to distress this. And I did get a new dauber and I did throw away my old distress pad, vintage photo distress pad, and opened up a brand new one. So, hopefully, 
this is going to work well. So the next step is going to be to put this down. So let's get our wet glue. You can also use score tape if you prefer score tape. At the rate that uh, wet glue is getting expensive, so score tape may be the go-to. In the near future, we'll see. I don't. I've not priced out score tape, so I. It could be just as bad. I don't know. <clears throat> While we have the distress ink out, and once again, oh, and I did. Um, I did go ahead and round these corners. So let's do that. And I'm going to round them on the half inch. And that's the only um, rounding I did on this one. And then we're going to go ahead and also distress the back of this. This is, um, I kind of like to give you options. You can definitely stitch all around this. You can use, um, you could create additional pockets on here if you wanted to. You could do three layers of lace instead of just the one. There's all sorts of things that you could add to this. So then for to make our second pocket, I have a piece that is three by, I think two and a half is what this came out to. Yes, two and a half by three. And then we are going to distress this as well. So yeah, I apologize for not having a Thursday video. When you look at these, there's just so many options. You could put some little mini die cuts over this. We, we are going to just put this down pretty straightforward and pretty easy. I got, a, I think, a couple comments on last week's that um, a few were afraid. They thought maybe it was a little bit too complicated. It's so simple. I mean, you see me doing it. It's, I try to keep them really, really simple. And I try to keep them not too many steps so that they are very doable. That's the whole idea. When you look at this, this would just be so cute. Um, just inside any journal pocket. And if you wanted to, you could go ahead and glue this down and make a fourth pocket behind, glue it down on these three sides and make a fourth pocket behind on either one of the sides. You could add to this some little die cuts, some little hearts, some little embellishments, little flowers. You could put a uh, safety pin here or a bulb pin and hang beads or a charm. Put another set of trim across the top of, I mean, it could just go on and on and on for your options for this. So just pull it out, try it, and have some fun with it. That is what I want for you just to have a lot of fun. So I do have, I was working on my little mini, where did I put my, of course, where's my lace for this? Where are you? Here we go. So this is what the lace looks like. And I don't believe there really is a right or wrong way to use this. Maybe this would be, no, I think it's really the same both sides. So what I am going to do is take and run a bead of um, 
Fabrifix just along the bottom here and then up the sides. So if you remember correctly, or maybe you didn't, if you are new to my channel, I am going to be tossing out all the comments week after week and just accepting comments for the week of the index card. And then that way it's not so overwhelming for me. So if you are interested in an index card, all you need to do is subscribe and leave me a comment. Let's get this out of the way. And each week I will be pulling new comments for or, um, new, new names for the draw. So some weeks may be busier than others. I think there were like 30-something comments on uh, the giveaway, the one we're giving away today. But we're going to go all year. So, you know, I said this at the beginning of last year. Don't, uh, don't give up. Don't get discouraged. And if you are not interested, because there, I've noticed there are a couple people that I keep trying to get their addresses. Because if you win and I don't have your address, I just need for you to uh, shoot me a message through uh, Facebook or Etsy. Etsy for sure will find me. And um, let me have your address so I can get that to you. And you don't have to be... Um, an Etsy shopper to be able to do that. You can go in and just message me. And my link is always in the description box. So isn't that so cute? So we, we are going to trim this off. Because we don't need this like that. So we will trim... And then, I guess you could call this a stuffed pocket tag. So we've got that. And now we are going to stuff her. So I have this first little tag here. And these are all using scraps. And this tag measures two. And if we go all the way up to the top, by five and an eighth, but if it's just the tag itself, four and just, just an eighth shy of three quarters. And we are going to distress this. We're going to have to distress all of them. I love this, that it um, has the gold glitter dots. This paper had a pattern to it of this gold. And I wanted to capture the one I used for myself is from this paper. But um, I let you have the gold. So I just thought that was so pretty. Then I used a piece of... Where are we? I have a piece of scrap fabric, and I'm not seeing that particular one, so maybe what we'll do is we'll take some pink roses. You might prefer that anyway. You know, you get to where you're just like, don't throw anything away because... You never know that you can use it. We are going to come in here. And we are going to, just for something, I'll make this a little bit longer so you get that rose there. 
we are going to take our stapler, I'm not throwing that out, just for a little bit different um, texture and just have a little bit of metal. We're going to stick this. This is my mother's old, old work stapler. And we are going to staple that down just like that. And sometimes when you go through fabric, if you don't think it really got tight enough, you can always take um, a pair of pliers and just give it a little squeeze. But now we've got that cute tag. That will go in there. And then this cutie right here. And once again, if you've ever wondered why distress, here's a good example. This is with no distress. This is with distress. See the difference? Makes all the difference in the world. Just adds, on this paper anyway, a pretty rich, warm color. And then I'm not too worried about the back of this because it is a really, really dark chocolate brown. Beautiful, beautiful. And then I have some of this twine. And we are just going to make a nice tag hanger out of this little bit of twine right here. That also gives us a different look and a little bit different texture. The twine. And so this is the longest one. And I forgot to measure the other, so let's do that. I think I'll put that on that side so you can see the gold. But this measures from top to bottom four by two. And if you want to go just the, just shy, that's three and a half before this little round top. So this is what I mean when I say... You could go ahead and you could stamp on this, maybe stamp. This would be really cute with a couple stamps. Even though you put your tags in there and you may not see it, you might. So if you like to stamp, I definitely think I would. Put some stamping on here too. Then we have a piece of, and I don't see it, but we have a number from... That's Artie Mays, and I have a sheet of that. I'm pretty sure I used two of those in here. Yes, I've got one there. So we need a number, which is right here. Let me cut this out. So we've got one that's blue, and then we've got one that is the white with blue. So we will cut these. And then let's go ahead and do this one. I'm trying to remember the name of the Artie Mays digital kit that I used, and I can't remember. So um, if you're interested in the numbers, go on over. You'll see them. They'll stand out. They should stand out. It came with, um, oh, lots of stuff in the kit. So, yeah, you might want to check it out because they're just easy and fun to use on just about anything. And when I turn it over, you'll see it makes a cute little tag. I mean, there's enough space back here to put a little something. So that is going to go, whoop, right in here. And then the other one is right here. 
whoop, I'm losing it. There we go. That's the other number right here. So we will take and distress this a little bit. And once again, I'll give you a little tip. You've probably seen me do this before because it's a favorite of mine. If you've got some um, coffee tea dyed or plain paper, scraps of paper, you can always glue a scrap piece of paper to this and fold it several times so you can open it up and have a lot more space to journal on. So that's an idea. So that's going to go right in there. And then we have this really pretty piece of cardstock. This is from um, a scrap of, I'm pretty sure I had gotten this um, a couple years ago. It's a uh, pack of 12 by 12 from Hobby Lobby. And I think it's called Family Ties. It's got uh, forest forestry scenes and um, um, uh, what do you call family trees it not it I think it's called family ties it could be the family tree that might be the name of the uh, pack but you I think you'd notice it if you saw it so that is going to go in here and you know if you wanted to you could punch holes in all of these and add ribbons and stuff but for the sake of going in the mail I have to be really really careful of that um, because I for sure probably would put a safety pin here with a charm or something hanging off of it but because it's going in the mail yeah I need to watch that. So then we have a little tag right here. I think we will use this piece. Love that yellow rose. But you certainly could put little hangers on here. So this is going to go right in there like that. And then we have a piece of scrap coffee tea dyed paper here. And what I'm going to do with this is just add another little scrap over the top of it. And also what that does is it gives it a little strength. So when you're putting this in and out of the pocket, it's not so week. So we're going to take and we're just going to put this down there like that. And first we'll distress it, but it just adds just a little bit of strength to be able to pull it in and out of the pocket and not create any kind of an issue. So you might want to keep that in mind too. You know, all these little things you just learn as you go. The little what to do and what not to do's and you certainly could add a lot more little pieces of scrap to this i'm looking and let's see because it's a giveaway what else do i have i've got a little bit of blue um what else can we put on here something small new Maybe that right there be cute. Let's try this out. We've got some green in there, so let's go with this. And I don't know that it's worth trying to get any kind of distress ink on here. We'll see. And then a little bead of glue. Don't need a lot, just a little bit, just enough to keep it down. And I want the pink to show, so I'm not gonna hide the edge. You see what I mean? Just left a little. And then you have just an extra little journal spot. Doesn't take up any real estate, really. And so that's gonna fit right down in there like that. This one obviously is 
longer than mine. So whoever gets this, if it annoys you, you can always cut the bottom off a little bit or maybe put it in one of the, put it in the middle, the middle uh, pocket. Then we've got this cutie right here. We're going to distress this. And then our little craft with the index card for this week is done. And I think it's pretty cute, guys. So we'll put the lid on that. And this little cutie goes right in there like that. And before we get to the drawing, and what did we make last week? Wow, I'm having to sit here and think. What did we make last week? I'm having trouble getting this in the glue, this little pin. There we go. Yeah, put the lid on this. We don't need this. I lost an entire glue stick one day last week because I, when I got up to leave, I forgot to put the lid on. So by the next day, it was just totally, there we go, I had it, but that's okay. This is cute. So there we go, guys. What do you think? You'll have to let me know. And of course, the comments on this tag, and I'm wondering why isn't that going, this should go all the way down. The comments on this tag will be applied to this drawing. Oh, you can cut the, that's what I did. I didn't cut the bottom off. I cut the bottom off mine. I'm going to leave this like that. And whoever gets it, if they want, they can cut the bottom off of that. So you can either keep it long like that or trim it down. But I'm going to leave that up to you. So these are... This week's tags and last week's tag was, oh, yes, I do remember. This is so cute. Last week's tag, this one here. Yep, this was the double index card, so let's give this away. All right, here's all our names. And I got them all, guys. I got them all. So good luck. And like I said, don't worry because this is only the first week of a year. We got 51 more to go. Here we go. This. How about, oh, she's brand new. Congratulations. Um, Trans Life. So Trans Life. Um, this is yours if you want it. You've got to get with me before next week because if I don't hear from you before next week, I will draw for this again. So let me know. I don't know what your, I, I know I don't have your address. So yeah, get with me on that. So congratulations. And um, everybody, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so, so much for watching and have a great weekend. Bye now.